keep it high, keep it tight. I'm Jay Morris, a review guy, back to bring you another video. This is going to be a longer video. I just thought I would make a video showcasing my metal collection. Now, I own a lot more CDs than uh, is in this video, as you can see. And there's more elsewhere. And um, I have a lot of bands that could be considered fringe line bands that could be considered metal, but I'm excluding things like rock, I'm con stuff like that trying to stick straight with metal. So I'm going to try to give a short description of each of the bands that I talk about and just move on in an orderly fashion. So we'll start off with the top. Um, this is an Unearth DVD, which is pretty neat. It's a um, kind of a making of and a live show performance type of thing. Uh, Unearth is a metalcore band. They're really awesome. They're one of the kind of preeminent metalcore bands. Check them out. I want to keep it moving fast, so. I'm not going to try to talk too much about each one. There's a Hell, Believe Me, I've Seen It. Uh, there, Excuse me, There's a Hell, Believe Me, I've Seen It. There's a Heaven, Let's Keep It a Secret by the band uh, Bring Me the Horizon. Pretty awesome metalcore album. It was their last true metalcore album. Unearth, number three, In the Eyes of Fire. This is uh, a metalcore band, obviously. I already talked about Unearth. Pretty awesome album. Really love the sound on that. Very hard, very heavy, aggressive. We have Sempaternal by Bring Me the Horizon, which took more of an alternative metal type of approach. Um, I, I plan on uh, doing a discography review of Bring Me the Horizon, but I already have a Sempaternal and That's a Spirit review up on my channel. Go check those out. I'll be doing a review for probably a lot of these albums eventually. Asking Alexandria's first album. Stand Up and Scream. This is a pure metalcore album. It's very aggressive, very fun, and it's just a lot of fun to listen to. And I think that uh, every Asking Alexandra fan has listened to that. And even though they're a bit different now, they're still a lot of fun. So, yeah. That's a Spirit by Bring Me the Horizon. This is a beat-up copy because it uh, I literally got this years ago, and I have listened to it many a times. This is more of a kind of new metal approach for some of it, an alternative metal like Sempaternal, but a lot of it's a bit softer, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Venom by Bullet For My Valentine. Very awesome metalcore release by this band, and I feel like um, they, they continue to step it up, and although a lot of people... Uh, find their older material to be a little bit more stylistically rich. I still think that their new material is pretty awesome, and I'm very excited to uh, hear the album that they come out with this year for 2018. I will definitely be doing a review of that one, so stay tuned. Impulse by ERA. This is ERA's first full-length album release on Tragic Hero Records. Uh, they released two EPs before this. Uh, this is an awesome album, and uh, not my favorite, but Air's my favorite band, so to me, uh, I like all of their discography, so it's a pretty awesome album. My, speaking of my favorite album from Era, uh, Drift by Era. Uh, they are a progressive metalcore band. Uh, I have talked a lot about them. I, uh, I've done two reviews on Drift. One's a five-minute review, and one's an older review that I did way back. It was, I think it was my first review. It was really long. Uh, but I definitely want to do the, a full discography review of ERA, so stay tuned for that. They're an awesome band. Check them out. Between the Buried and Me, Automata 1 or Automata 1. I already reviewed this album on my channel, so if you want to know my thoughts of it, go check that out. Uh, they are a kind of uh, avant-garde type of band, I'd say. They're, they're, very, they're very interesting. They're very progressive. A lot of the bands I like are progressive, uh, so that's cool. False Idol by Veil of Maya. Veil of Maya was originally a deathcore band, but now they are a kind of more progressive metalcore and gent band. Uh, probably not my favorite release from them. The, my favorite release is the one I'm going to show you next, but it's still a great album. Check it out. Eclipse by Veil of Maya. Well, this is my favorite album from the band. This was back when they were still deathcore. It was their uh, final deathcore release, and uh, it's a pretty awesome album. I kind of judge them as two different bands. I actually did an album review of that, and that is up on the channel, so go check that out. Halfway Human by Within the Ruins. Within the Ruins, kind of like Veil of Maya, is a deathcore band that turned into more of a progressive type of band. There's a running trend that a lot of the bands that I like from the metal genre are progressive. Uh, Within the Ruins is a... <clears throat> excuse me, i got really bad allergies going on, so if you see me scratching my nose or coughing, that's why. Um, 
Halfway Human is a great progressive metal album. Uh, once again, I'd love to get my hands on some of their earlier releases like Phenomena and Elite, but they're kind of hard to come by. But uh, they're great deathcore releases, and Halfway Human is a very good progressive release. Moments of Clarity by Era. This is an EP that they released in between Augment and Drift. Uh, when Ian Fairbanks was doing the vocals instead of JT Cavey, it was in between when Garrison Lee left the band and when JT Cavey stepped up after Texas in July disbanded and gave his full attention to recording the album Drift. Uh, this is a five-track EP, and it's a really good album. I really like it. I've, once again, I've done a review on that, so go check that out if you want to know my more in-depth thoughts. Alpha by Seven Dust. Uh, if you don't know who Seven Dust is, they are a new metal band. They're, they play just new metal. It's, they're a very great band. I really like um, Seven Dust. They were actually kind of one of the first metal bands I really got into. And it's kind of, it's awesome to see uh, an African-American uh, metal singer. I don't feel like there's enough of those. Um, Howard Jones from Kill Switch Engage has a great example of a great African-American metal singer. Uh, I'm not sure of this, the gentleman that does the vocals for uh, Seven Dust, but he does a great job as well. Uh, the Anthropocene Extinction by Cattle Decapitation. Uh, I did a full-length album review, and it got great reception. Uh, I think that is my most viewed album review, I'm wanting to say. So go check that out if you haven't already, and um, you can see my more in-depth thoughts about that album. It's an awesome album, great death grind, great grind core, just brutal death metal type of music, great sound, all that good stuff. Asking Alexandria's self-titled album. Once again, I have done a uh, recent review on that. Go check that out. This is a very stylistic change from the band's previous work, and but I still think it is a good album in its own right and definitely deserves some attention. All right, so Meteora by Linkin Park. This is a special edition. I actually have uh, two copies of Meteora, and uh, this one is a special edition that comes with uh, two... Uh, uh, two sets, and one's like a DVD, and one's a uh, the CD. Uh, they, everyone knows Linkin Park, I'd hope. Uh, uh, the new metal band, very heavy, very aggressive, and unfortunately we lost Chester Bennington. Uh, that really broke my heart, because Linkin Park really was one of the first bands that got me into the kind of alternative metal rock type of genre. I really, really love their music. I still go out and jam to it. And I hope that Mike Shinoda can kind of pick up the pieces. Uh, his EP was absolutely shattering. I, I actually may review that EP just because of the emotion behind it. It's so sad that ch we lost Chester, but um, their music stays the same, and he still is a very, very great vocalist, and he will be missed, and his vocals for new metal really set the bar high. Soul Sphere by Born of Osiris. Uh, this is a two-disc set. Well, it's not two-disc set. It has two uh, album variant covers. Uh, this is the box cover. And then this is the CD uh, jewel case. Um, Born of Osiris, once again, going back to the whole thing like um, Veil of Maya and Within the Ruins, is they are a deathcore band that turn into a progressive band. They always had kind of some gent qualities. They were always one of the spearheading leaders of the genre, but it really set them apart and made it known that they were a part of this community that really grew. Uh, Tomorrow We Die Alive by Born of Osiris. I did a review of this one. Uh, go check it out if you haven't. I'm going to do a review of Soul Sphere soon, uh, but uh, Tomorrow We Die Live is uh, probably my favorite album from them. Uh, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for that because Discovery is like, that's what people say is their magnum opus whenever you watch reviews of Born of Osiris, but just preference, it's what got me into the band, and I love that album a lot. Uh, Reload by Metallica. Uh, does Metallica need an introduction? I don't think so. Everyone knows Metallica, so I'm not even going to go into it. Here's my second cover, uh, my second copy of Meteor by Linkin Park. As you can see, it's, uh, whereas the original uh, just has, this, it has, or I should say, the special edition has the uh, two-disc set, uh, but this is just the regular copy. So I own two copies of that. Pretty cool. Great album. Yom's Viking by Amon Amarth. They are a Viking uh, kind of melodic death metal band uh, from Sweden, I believe, and they employ a lot of uh, employ a lot of kind of Viking themes, as you can see. And they're a really awesome band, very epic, very uh, very theatrical, and it's hard if you're like the genre to not get into them. I got the uh, the March by Unearth. 
Uh, this is probably my favorite Unearth album. I really, really love the sound on this. I think it. I uh, think they did a great, great, great job on this album. Hybrid Theory by Linkin Park. This was uh, their first album, and once again, Linkin Park, I don't think they need much introduction. I already did it for Meteora, but uh, Hybrid Theory is just very different from the rest of their discography, and it's really great. I have a compilation album from uh, Dio, and he is a... Um, he's a legend. That's, that's what he is. He's a legend. He's a great, great heavy metal player. Uh, Holy Diver is probably one of the best metal songs that has ever been made, hands down. It's right up there with a lot of the other greats. So, Disturbs, The Sickness. Uh, Disturb, everyone has heard the memes. Wah, ah, ah. Like that, that meme has been widespread, everyone knows it. Don't really need to go into it. It's a great album. Uh, what would you even call these guys? I guess new metal or alternative metal. Alternative metal would probably be right. And while they are a bit more kind of hard rockish on their newer albums, this is definitely an alternative metal album, so I went ahead and included it. This one was a bit, uh, quest I questioned if I wanted to include this genre on the list, but uh, Yield by Pearl Jam. Uh, I consider grunge to be metal. I mean, it's very heavy. It's, everyone knows what grunge is. You got bands like Nirvana and Alice in Chains and Pearl Jam and those types of bands. Pretty cool. I have Take a Look in the Mirror by Korn. Uh, great new metal band. They're one of the greatest new metal bands. And uh, they're just classic new metal. They were one of the ones that kind of skyrocketed the genre into popularity and they continue to be popular to this day. Um, just a quick thing uh, Sumerian Records is my favorite record label, and to know that Jonathan Davis is actually releasing his solo um, album, I believe it's called The Labyrinth or Labyrinth, uh, on Sumerian Records, that is huge for me. I doubt Korn's ever going to become on Sumerian Records, but that'd be pretty awesome. We have Appeal to Reason by Rise Against. Uh, they are a post hardcore slash kind of hardcore punk type of band. I love songs like Savior. Savior is my favorite song from the band. It's just a great, great song. Uh, go check them out if you haven't. They have some great lyrical themes. Uh, I really, really like... Um, it's been a while since I've heard the song. I'm trying to remember the name. Hero of War. That is such a great song. I love that song so much. It really showcases a lot of my beliefs, and it's, it's awesome. And we have Shadows Are Security by As I Lay Dying. As I Lay Dying is one of the kind of first mainstream uh, metalcore bands, along with bands like uh, Kill Switch Engage and uh, the Dillinger Escape Plan and later Bring Me the Horizon. And uh, you got bands like that, Unearth. Um, they're just a great metalcore band. They just play balls to the wall. Uh, just hellishly great metalcore. If you like metalcore, you should know who As I Lay Dying is. The Emptiness by Alisana. I love this album. I really love this album. It's a concept album, and they are a post-hardcore uh, type of band that mixes in a lot of different themes, and I just, I gotta showcase. I love this CD so much. This has, as a writer, as a storyteller, I love the story behind this. I think it's great. I love when uh, you see people make, like, really great stories with music. It's just, it's, it's amazing what some people can do with music. Uh, these, this is a bit controversial, but Reanimation by Linkin Park, I only included it, even though it's a remix album and it's pretty much completely electronic, it's Linkin Park, so I wanted to include it. The album that most people think is Era's best album, we have Augment by Era. Uh, this is... Uh, don't even get me started on Augment. It is an amazing... That, that review's coming out soon. That's actually going to be one of the next reviews that I do. It's awesome. It's a great album. The Black by Asking Alexandria. This was um, between the period that Danny Worsnop departed from the band to uh, work on We Are Harlot and his solo work, and Dennis Stoff took over uh, for vocals for this album and then um, left the band, and Danny came back. So this was between their self-titled album and From Death to Destiny. Uh, this is a good album. I am I'm not sure about... Oh, see, it's weird because I'm a bit contradicting in the sense that I'm not that huge of a fan of The Black for the reasons I kind of like their self-titled album. I think it's just Danny's voice and Danny's identity in the band. I'm so used to that. And then the final album is From Death to Destiny by Asking Alexandria. 
probably my favorite album from the band. I definitely want to do a review of this. This is a great, great album. It uh, has some of my favorite songs, uh, a lot of the songs that really got me into the band, and uh, definitely worth your time. I'm going to be doing a review of a lot of these bands, so if you want to see more videos with collections, I can uh, talk more in depth about certain genres if you'd like. But I'll talk to you guys next time. This is Jay Morse Review Guys signing off saying farewell.